Hello everyone, I am back with another video and today it's going to be a video based, well not based on, it's going to be a video, well, showing you a tutorial of a proposal on um, invitation. And this one I think that y'all will really like. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is go to create a design. <coughs> and right here no it's not that one it's, let me keep scrolling you can type in invitation and it's not that one it's invitation this one right here invitation portrait so please make sure that you click on this one and it will be five by seven mm -mm. <clears throat> come on So while we wait for this to load, <laughs> let me make sure my all my sounds is off on my phone, so I don't get distracted. Okay, so now that we're here, like I said, we're going to be making a uh, um a wedding, no, an uh, engagement party invitation. So that's what it's going to be, an engagement party invitation. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to find my picture that I want to use in this invitation, which I already found it. So I'm just going to go to my uploads, upload media, and it should be coming up in my files. I don't know if it shows y'all this part or not, but yeah, that's basically what I'm looking for is the picture. So it's going to be this one right here that I will be using. So let me make the screen a little bigger so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's, let's close that out and just focus on this. And what I want to do here is, because I don't want it too, too big. So I think this right here will be good enough. Because I don't have to have it. <clears throat> as long as the rings are showing right there, I think that right there would be good enough. Yeah, I think that would be good. So you can find any picture that you would like, but this is one of the ways how I designed an uh, engagement party invitation. So I want, another thing I want to do here is choose the background color. And I think I want to go with the color brown. Or let's do a lighter brown. Hmm. I don't know here. Let's do like a lighter brown. I want like a darker brown because I am want to <coughs> at least try to use a lighter color to go with that brown. So let's keep playing around with it to get something. I think this right here would be good, but I just want just a tad bit darker. I think this right here would be good. <clears throat> okay, so why I'm going to have to bring this down so y'all will see in a minute why I do it like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to blend them sharp edges on this picture right here. So to blend the sharp edges right here, I'm going to show y'all what you can do. So what you can do is go to elements and type in, hold on because my computer is loading up slow y'all. Come on. Uh, okay, so there we go. So what you can do is type in transparent gradient. So type in transparent gradient. And click on this teal looking one right here because that's the one you could basically change colors on and I'm about to go ahead and change it to the same color as the background right there and as you can see there you have it change and now I'm going to blend the background and the photo in together so <clears throat> and I'm going to add another one so let's see how this looks so you know it's still showing so I'm going to add another one and there we have it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do here is I want to ask like a, a flower border. So you can go back into elements and type in flower border right here. 
and just keep or pick one that you would like to use because actually pink was the color that I was going to use but I don't think I'm going to use this one because it has too much green in it so let's keep looking here until we find something I don't like none of those so one of these should be coming up I'm looking for basically like a pink flower border something what that has like a lot of pink in it if it oh this computer um i definitely don't like that one let's try this and see how nope because it has <clears throat> it has purple in it i just want something that mainly has pink in it um so i'm gonna keep scrolling and scrolling and so i basically find something that i like Oh, let me scroll back up. Hmm. Okay, so let's flip this and see how it look. Okay, not too bad. But I'm going to keep looking for a few more seconds to see if I can find anything else. And if not, then we just move on. So let's keep scrolling. And if you can't find anything here, you can always go to Pinterest or Google and just type in pink flower border. And something that you may like may pop up. But I'm not going to exit out. I'm just going to try and keep it all in Canva because that's the app that I'm using. Okay, okay. Okay, so we have... I wish I could find the other one that I use for this other invitation. But it looks like it's not coming up at all. Oh, I wish I could find it. Flower. Um, let's see if what comes up for that. So let's move this up. I think that really actually looks good. But let's try this. Um, that's enough. So let's. I'm going to keep looking for a few more seconds. And if I can't find anything, I'm going to just go ahead and use that. So the one that I'm looking for, I can't seem to find at all, at all. So I'm just let's try it. Just, let's just try flowers. Flowers. I think this is what I looked up last time and found it. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. So I'm gonna just go with this one right here. And I'm just going to position it like this. And I'm going to also add one at the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to flip it. Like that. And I'm going to hit flip again. And just put it like this. Okay. So I think we're getting somewhere here. So I'm going to add my text. So I might just add another one right there because I do want the text out just <clears throat> a little higher. Okay, so we have that right there. I'm going to send this to the back. There we go. Now I want to just add a text and it's going to say something like you're invited and I'm going to show you how I, I curve this text also. So I'm going to put it in all caps and say you're invited. So what I'm going to do here to curve the text, I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to curve and you'll find it all the way here at the bottom. And I'm going to adjust it to how I want it to be. You can make it bigger, however you like, like this. If you want it smaller, you can. But I'm just going to put it like this. Okay, so I think that right there is good enough. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more so y'all can see the 84B. Um. I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller. 
there we go anyway so let's just move on to the next part so it says you are well you're invited let's just put you are instead or you can put you are i mean you're let me just put you are okay so we have that and the next text so what i want to do i want to basically make the text pink like the pink in this flower right here so what i'm going to do is, as you can see it already has the color in it i also want to make the text bold so okay so there we have it and i'm going to add another text and this one is basically going to be engagement party so engagement party i'm going to also make that a little bigger and be that big and i'm going to put it in the center um <clears throat> okay so we have it in the center i'm going to also change this to the color pink because i want most of the words in it pink and something else i want to do here is go to flow i mean not flowers so i'm going to just add like a little heart right here in the middle you don't have to but that's just how i want to do it so it just don't look too plain you know okay so we have that and we just come up with any any name so i'm just for me i'm just going to put okay so i'm back in so what we're going to do here is i'm just going to type a random name and i whatever name you come up with or whatever name you need to use you just put it right here so the name i'm just going to use is samaria oliver i mean not samaria oliver i mean i don't know samaria diver that would be fine and i'm not going to keep it in the same font i'm going to make it into like a cursor font so let me scroll and these are the fonts right here that i uploaded to canva and if you would like to see how i mean if you would like for me to show you how to upload fonts to canva i'll i'll be more than happy to show you but i'm looking for a cursor font and hmm i don't too much like that one i want maybe like a more slanted um cursor font i don't like that one either okay this right here then okay so i'm going to also change this to the color pink okay so we have that in pink i want it to basically be where y'all can basically see the whole thing okay so it's um samaria and i'm going to put i'm going to put on um, the hus i mean the um the other name which is going to be so instead of going back to that font i'm just going to add the same name and add it okay so let's his name is going to be Devin lotus i thought it was lotus flower so Devin lotus and we're going to also keep that pink and i need to put the end right here in the middle so let me delete that and just put i'm going to change that to white make it smaller uh what is this thing doing i did not mean to do that position this into in the center and if you don't and if you can't get it directly in the center you can always go to position and just hit center and it will put it in the center for example let me show you now if i move this out of the way and i want to position it in the center let me bring it down because that's not where i want it so go to position center and it will place it right in the center for you but i already know how to line everything up so yeah let me move that back okay so we have the names what we want another thing i like to do here is go to elements and i'm going to just add a line under here 
and you can make it how big or small you want you don't have to make the line as thick so I'm going to size it down so you can just hit them lines up here in the top left corner and it has line weight so I don't want mine's five I think three I do so I'm just keeping it at three you can make it your line a little thinner but that's just how I'm going to keep mine and when is the invitation let me go back to my text matter of fact I don't have to go back through all of that because I'm going to make this text white so just add a little bit more white in it and I can also change this heart right here no I'm gonna just keep it like that but this right here is going to be the date on it so it's going to be I basically want it I have to look at my calendar so let's just say if I want it on a Saturday so it's going to be Saturday on what's today's date uh July the 22nd so if I look in my calendar let me see what next Saturday will be you just put I'm just put any date so next Saturday will be July the 30th so I'm just put July 30th um and that was like I said would be on a Saturday and you just put the year and for those names I don't know who those people are so yeah um so I, got, I have the date right here place my comma and I'm going to change this to white if y'all would like to see any other videos please let me know and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe because I will be putting out more videos for y'all but please let me know what else it is that y'all would like to see please and thank you because actually I really enjoy this but it's just like I have a busy schedule so I try to make much as time as I can to do these tutorials for y'all but right here I'm going to put just the time that it'll be so it'll start at nine nine o'clock mm, no I don't want nine so let's just say eight p.m eight o'clock p.m so eight o'clock p.m okay so we have our time there and then another thing I'm going to add down here will be it will be the the bestly the place of, or the location of the um engagement party so i'm going to add same text and i'm going to edit it so right here i'm just going to put one two three anywhere street um any city of course y'all will put the the name or the location but this is a tutorial for y'all so this is why i'm putting this information up here and right here it will be you can put the street and the zip code so yeah very easy and simple so i'm going to go to spacing because i don't want that much spacing in between the lines okay so that right there will do I'm going to change this to the color pink also and there we have it and it's very easy and simple to do I actually love how it turned out let me zoom out so y'all can see and there you have it uh, engagement party invitation so I hope y'all enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you're new here, please subscribe. And that will be all for today. God bless.